Hey guys, today we are here at Cracker Barrel. We're here to see their 4th of July decorations. But while we're here, we might as well get their lunch special. At least Bobby's gonna get that. I'm gonna get something that I wanted about two or three months ago when we were in here. Hopefully it's still on the menu. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock it. Let's take a quick look at what they offer for lunch here at Cracker Barrel on the weekdays. Monday through Friday, you can pick two country combos for $7.99. Those are served with hand-rolled buttermilk biscuits or corn muffins and real butter. Here's the other days. Today is Wednesday. Bobby's going to get the broccoli cheddar chicken. That's something she has never tried here. And on Thursdays, you can get the turkey and dressing. And I'm going to show you what I got. If you guys can remember, we were in here a while back showing you the new items, and this was new at the time. The Buttermilk Buffalo Ranch Mac and Cheese. I didn't get it. I said I would be back. It took me forever to get back here, but I ordered it today. And something else I wanted to point out on this menu are these take-home meals. If you order any entree in the restaurant or online, you can take one of these home with you for $5. You got three choices. You probably couldn't make that at home for $5. Something to keep in mind. All right, let's take a look at our food. There's the Buttermilk Buffalo Ranch Mac and Cheese. It says it has kicking Buffalo Buttermilk Ranch Sauce on it. They're real popular mac and cheese, one of the most popular items on the menu. And there are two corn muffins and biscuits with jellies. And Bobby's Broccoli Cheddar Chicken, and she loves carrots. Nice size piece of chicken. Plenty of cheddar cheese on there. There's some of the broccoli. I'm not sure what this is, if that's maybe some sort of breading. I'm gonna try that by itself. So it definitely is breading, has a nice flavor to it. Kind of reminds me of stuffing, even though I know it's not. Maybe it's some kind of panko crumbs or something. Chicken cut really nice. You see the broccoli on there, John? Let me see the broccoli. The, the top of the broccoli looks like it's overdone to me. It, it looks like it's overdone, but I think it's because it's baked. And probably just the top of it. We'll see. The broccoli is not overdone. Tastes just fine. The chicken was nice and tender when I cut it, but this cheddar cheese really sets off the flavor with the broccoli and the chicken. So I'll turn it around here so you can see it. A nice piece of chicken. You can just see, look how nice that cuts. Give you one more look. That's a decent size for lunch for $8.49. Now, on the lunch menu, you get one side. So, I've got the carrots because they are my favorite. Look how nice and soft. Now, I said it before and I'm going to say it again. They have the best carrots. Nice and tender. They always have that nice sweet flavor. Well, I've been waiting a while to order this. Starting off with three hand breaded chicken tenders. Their chicken tenders are very good here. We've gotten them several times. Has some onions, some tomatoes, their signature mac and cheese, and they have this kicking buffalo ranch sauce on here that they make here. That's not out of a bottle, just like a name brand. That's not like Texas Pete or Frank's. They mix up hot sauce in their ranch to do that. So let's just try the chicken by itself first. Nice looking crispy breading. White piece of meat. Let's go at it. Now the breading is nice and thin on there, but it is crispy. The ranch or buffalo kicking sauce has a little bit of bite to it. Not too bad. You can taste a little hint of the ranch in that. It's blended all in with that mac and cheese. I bet you that's gonna be really good. I'm gonna try one more bite. I'm gonna dip a little more of this sauce right on it. I'm just gonna bite it off at the end right here. That's around a medium flavor. I like that flavor. I wish they put some more on the top. 
I mean, there's plenty of it going around the mac and cheese, but probably could have asked for a little cup of that. Very tasty. Good job, Cracker Barrel, on making the sauce. You just want it more on the chicken. More on the chicken. There's plenty on the mac and cheese. Just put a little more on that because it has a great flavor. Now let's try the mac and cheese. Let's go over here and get some with this sauce on there. Let's get tomato in there. And let's get an onion. Let's get them all. Got everything on that. Can't go wrong with the mac and cheese here. I might have said it before, I don't remember. This is baked in the oven. Sometimes you get that little crispy piece of cheese in there, a little burnt kind of, that's what I like. It blends in well with the buffalo sauce. Look how creamy that is, guys. Just plain elbow macaroni, some cheese sauce here. Now, if you want to make this stuff at home, there's a lot of copycat recipes online. It's one of the most popular things at Cracker Barrel, and it is just so very good. I know you guys are wanting me to give you a bite right now, so let me get you some extra cheese over here. Oh, you want an onion too? Okay. Let's get you an onion. I think I got you. There you go. It's all you. Update on the mac and cheese. These onions they put on here, pretty hot. They're almost as hot as the sauce because the sauce is just a medium. But I've been into some of these, man. They have a strong taste to them, but I like them like that. Bobby and I buy those little green onions out of the store and I put mine in salt. I got to put salt down and just like swirl it around when I bite them. Eat them raw like that. Now my meal doesn't come with a side, but it's kind of like a side. You're getting chicken tenders with the mac and cheese, but you do get a choice of either muffins or biscuits. Put some great jelly on that biscuit. Look how nice golden brown that is. Let's just try it. I'm not a huge fan of biscuits, but these are so good in that jelly that they use at, was it Dickerson? I think you can buy that buddy. here. That's very good jelly. We'll try John's macaroni and cheese with the onion. That's very good. It's just so cheesy and creamy. The onion was hot, but I got a little bit of the sauce, which didn't seem too spicy. I think the onion was more spicy than the sauce. Well guys, in case you were wondering how big that meal was, I finished it. I am full. I couldn't really eat anything else. Bobby's meal, different story. She could not finish it. But we are gonna take home a corn muffin and a biscuit and this little piece of chicken. Let's take a look at our receipt here at Cracker Barrel in Morgantown, West Virginia. Bobby's Wednesday special, $8.49. The Buffalo Ranch and Mac, $10.99. A grand total, $20.65. Let's take a look at this section from our presidential trivia. Our U.S. road trip, Mickey and Minnie. Those are $10, the glass is eight red white and blue candy corn for four what's this night night america for ten dollars takes you around the united states showing some landmarks cute snoopy for 15 and i could not find a price on this it's a nice hat for 30. this one is 20 dollars we the people puzzle look at this heroes don't wear capes they wear dog tags that's nice that's ten dollars they also have the same saying for seventeen dollars drinking mug it's a nice shirt for 30. it is a nice shirt like the eagle pin how much is that four dollars some more shirts the u.s constitution that is Ten. Hmm. Wide variety of shirts down through here. Oh, look at that one. That was old schoolhouse rock down there. Then we have a book for 15. It's a nice hoodie. Not sure what the price is on that. Look at this. $30. Little hand towel. How much was that hand towel? Let's just take a look. $7 on that. Pretzels, a Snoopy salt and pepper shaker. I think that was $8. Just look at that, guys. That's pretty nice. Peanuts and gummies. Tic-tac-toe board is $25. Some coconut candy. They also have a banner here. The banner is $10 and the pillow is $20. There's that other banner I showed you. 
Look at this dog, guys. Sixty dollars. A little candle in there. That's solar, though, isn't it? Yeah. You put that outside, the sun will light that up for you. That's nice. This is forty. These are seven. I have some nice mugs here for seven. Look at these really nice coasters. They're eleven. Those are pretty. Nice picture back there too. And a wreath. Seven dollars on that. This little sham is twenty. Now have a queen comforter on there. Little bag. They have a lot of nice dresses and sandals that you can dress your little girl up. Some of them is twenty-five. Sandals are seventeen. Look how cute those are. A little hat for her. She could be styling this Fourth of July. Could be. Bad thing, I don't see anything for little boys. Look how cute that is. Nothing. This one's 25. Sunglasses and a bow. Let's see how much that is. Thirteen dollars. It's a lot of cute things. I'll hear maybe for a little boy. Yep. Look like at is 17. Some more outfits and some gnomes. There's a gnome salt and pepper shaker. Paper weight for eight dollars. Have a keychain for ten dollars. Look at that shiny hat for twenty. That's nice. I like these sunglasses, but I couldn't see anything but the flag. Those are thirteen. Look at the hat earrings. Necklace. A lot of different accessories deck you guys out on the 4th of July. There's one of the stars. I like this, John. Welcome to the back porch where wasting time is considered time well wasted. Remember how it, growing up as kids, what'd you guys do with your family? We always sat on the porch on Friday night and sat around and talked. We did. They don't do that today. Now we're filming this in two different Cracker Barrels to show you the different decorations. Most of them might be the same. You know, they had that dog in the other one, $60. I think this is different. The Stars Solar Lantern for $24.99. Just pan this. Another full rack of clothes. There's the sunglasses again. Birdhouse. Can't remember if they had the birdhouse in the other one. Things are starting to sell down. They probably had this stuff for a while. Showed you the rack of clothes. Look at that bib. Fourth of July. Some little shoes. Different dresses. Let's spin this rack and see. Can't remember what the first one had. Here's a little fanny pack. That is... $20. $16.99 on the hat. Let's take a look at the shirts. This one is $40. Do like that. There's the wreath. Now they didn't have this cast iron skillet for $40. I'd like to cook in that, Bobby. Those are really heavy. That's nice. I'd probably just hang it up and show it like yeah, that. Yeah, that's more of a decoration. I think we saw all this before. This is different. Solar glass wind chimes for $30. Not sure if I told the price of the canvas, but it is $20. Well, we just left Cracker Barrel after looking at their 4th of July decorations and having lunch. What did you think about it? They have a lot of cute decorations, but I would come out and check out the Cracker Barrel soon before all those decorations are gone because it seems like once they sell out, they don't get them back. Now, we came up for the lunch special for me. Now, what I got, you can only get on Wednesday. And that was the baked chicken. It was nice and tender with the broccoli and cheese over it with one side for $8.49. If you want that at dinner time, it's $12.79 with two sides. 
Now I had the Buffalo Ranch Mac and Cheese. It came with three chicken tenders in their homemade buffalo and ranch dressing. That was about a medium in there, had just enough spice. Comes with that mac and cheese that they're so famous here for. I didn't realize how popular that was on their menu until I looked this place up and it says that's one of the most requested items at any Cracker Barrel. It's very good mac and cheese. So that's a great combination that was new a few months ago, but I didn't get it. I got something else that so we're going to come right back, but we didn't. So I'm glad we came in here and I finally got that. I would get that again. I also want to give a shout out to Mary, our waitress. She did an excellent job. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have, have left, left the building. Me. And I have the glasses on today. I didn't forget to put them on. But I had to keep Bobby in the Matrix just to tell you guys that. Later.